The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Mr. Aonima gameplay demonstration. So one of the producers of Zelda is going to show some gameplay. This is by Nintendo of America. So let's go ahead and check it out. Hello, everyone. I'm AJ. I saw the translation. Producer of the Legend of Zelda series. First, I have some news. Development on the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is now complete. Wait, then why isn't coming out now? <laughs> Thank you very much for waiting. Many of you are looking forward to this game, and we've released a few trailers so far. Although it'll just be a brief glimpse, I'm going to actually play the game for you all today and show you what it's like. About time. Okay. Wait, I don't know if there's other gameplay trailers. Let's I haven't kept up with it. Here we are in the land. All right, first, I mean, I just got to stop and look at the UI. We <laughs> we got woe and go down at the bottom. We got woe and go. I don't know what woe is, <laughs> but okay. We got soothe, woe, go, reset camera. There's a temperature gauge. Temperature gauge. So, okay. I think that was also in Breath of the Wild one, though. Uh, I don't know what the one sound is or something, maybe. What time of day it is. And then we got the map. And then we got, okay, that basic hunt. All right. And we got a horse, obviously. Like the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, there's a vast world to explore. Of course, it's not just the same world as is. It's changed in many ways. If we talk about all of the changes today, we'll run out of time, so we hope you'll seek them out for yourself when the game launches. In this game, the okay. vast world of Hyrule... I should stop there. Are there wild animals that you can... I don't know what you would do with them. Can you, like, tame them or something? Reaches high That'd be kind of cool. You'll notice oh, we got some some, some flying stuff. There. We call them. Yeah, I love when there's stuff like that in games, though. The stuff that like when you first start, you don't know how to do it, or you don't know like maybe you can get there right away. But a lot of times there'll be things like that where it's like you can't get there right away, and so then it leads your insp it inspires you to like imagine like what could be there, what else is out there in this world, what else can I find? That is something that is so critical in an open world Sky game. Islands. Elden Ring had that. You could just see the mountain off in the distance in Elden Ring, and you, you just knew there's something, something there. How do you get to the Sky Islands when they're so high up? That's <laughs> such a cheese line. If we what is this little look, village? Oh, something's falling from the sky. Do you see it? Oh my god, this is so is. those condescending sounding, <laughs> those condescending sounding dialogue he's giving us right now. We're almost at the spot where the object. I don't. Fell. I think it's just. I think it's just the guy who's the guy who's the translator or whatever. I think his voice and the way he's saying it, because I hear the guy in the background. He's like da 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 da, -da talking, and then this guy's like, "Wow, look at that! What is that?" And it's just it makes it sound so condescending. <laughs> Here it is. I looks like the exact same climbing okay. system, the exact same stamina system. If you do this on the rock that just fell. Oh, we can re Oh, we're gonna rewind time while standing on it. It started rising. Ah, uh, okay, alright. It's known as recall, which rewinds an object's movement. It's like I don't know, super tracer. Tracer, but on Since other I objects. Just used recall on the fallen rock, I can now rise into the sky. We're a lot closer to the Sky Islands. All right. What is Let's up there? Let's use the paraglider to reach one of them. All right, we got the glider there again. Same old, same Sky old. Islands floating here too. Honestly, it looks super fun, though. It does look insanely fun. I I, I assume, that based on what I'm seeing so far, this game's going to be there are just as good. Oh, what is that dragon? Are we going to fight that dragon? I hope we get to fight that dragon, dude. I want to I want to actually just kill Let's that dragon. Islands, so we hope you'll try a few different That'll methods. be so much fun. One of the most fun things in Zelda, remember Twilight Princess? And I think it was Twilight Princess. And we were like the four pillars on some like sky island. And you had to like fight this crazy flying dragon. That was fun. But that one, that one actually, can we go back? That makes me think of um, the dragon from the Fire Temple in Ocarina of Time. I don't know what his name was anymore. That one that he literally was the exact same type of dragon, and he would just, like, spiral around and go in the ground and Sky stuff. Islands. So we hope you'll try a few different methods. Go to lava, I mean. Okay. Oh, we just got to stop and look at this stuff. Some uh, circular thing. Like, the way this renders looks really weird. It looks really, really weird. You see this stuff in the distance? I think it's because it's a Nintendo Switch where they had to, like... I don't know, like nothing could render back there, but they had to render that stuff. And then that stuff's like not fully rendered. So the, it like looks very objecty and not like actually real looking. Like now it looks really, really weird. Sky Island. 
Just like on the surface, there are several man-made structures. Some trees are also growing here. You won't see many of those yellow trees on the surface, though. Let's walk around for a bit. Why not? There's a branch on the ground. <laughs> Yoko, okay. Like this, There's a branch on the ground. It might come in handy later. Oh my god. Let's continue. I, I just can't get over this translator's voice, man. He sounds so condescending. It's unbelievable. He has like no emotion Something's in his there. voice. This is a brand new enemy called a construct. Okay. We'll fight it using the branch we just picked up. Why not a sword? We don't have a sword yet. Is this like the start ah, the of the game? Broke. Not good. Not good. Oh Quick. my. <laughs> I can't. I can't do this guy. The guy who's translating it just cannot emulate normal gamer emotion at all. So so bad. Get another branch and. <laughs> oh my god. We defeated it. <laughs> Moving on. We, I, I just think it would have been better just to have subtitles for what the guy was saying. Like it, it would, have, and then just up his voice so we can actually hear the the um, Japanese sound. You know, like it would have been a lot smarter. Sky Island. As expected, fighting with just a branch won't get us very far. Now we're gonna fight with the boulder. Also, this branch is almost broken. The nice boulder. So here's another one of Link's new abilities. If we use this branch and the rock over here, and do this, look. Whoa, oh together. my we god makeshift hammer this it's is so stupid but it's so great it's so dumb new weapons with various effects let's take on that's so dumb but that's also so smart like that's so cool like, i wonder what all things we're gonna be able to do with that but that is gonna be extremely exciting to find what combinations of Another things you can make with random but we're we doing this because we don't have a sword because like if we have a sword like i know how this is gonna go it, literally, if anyone anyone ever plays, like 95% of people play video games. Once you get a sword, you're never going to use that unless the game makes you do that. It's like, oh, here's something where we have to have a hammer. Well, now I got to get a stick. I got to attach it to a rock. Otherwise, you're like, I, I don't care if it does more damage, whatever. It's, it's a temporary weapon or something. I don't know. I'm just going to I'm just gonna keep using my sword. It's fine. Like, We're dealing with two of them at once. <laughs> Oh, we beat one. <laughs> I just can't go over the, the way this guy talks. Definitely improved. The other branch broke, but this weapon has much better durability. Yeah. You can do all sorts of things. Wait a minute, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go back. Does it show the durability when he's swinging it somewhere? Um, no, I don't think you get to know when it's gonna break. Okay, it just breaks. You can fuse two weapons, for example. If we take this long stick and fuse it with a pitchfork, okay, we can create a weapon with a. Oh monk. my gosh, that's like the the spears that the phalanx people would use in ancient Greece. I remember there's this whole thing about basically people do phalanx and spear poking at each other in war, and so everyone's like the strategy, the meta was just like we'll just make longer spears and we'll just make longer spears so we can out poke them basically and then it got to where the spears were so long that they couldn't even like move like you'd barely be able to walk holding your like fucking like 25 foot long spear it was crazy Much longer attack range <clears throat> i don't know how long it was 25 feet long i don't remember how long this, it was how many don't meters have to get too close to enemies and we can safely attack from a distance yeah literally a phalanx that act that what that weapon actually looks op though that actually makes me want to give up a sword to you do that. That's, that's nuts. With materials but also, I'm too hand. lazy. I'm also too lazy. If, if we have a sword, I'm just like, yeah, that's cool and all. I'm just too lazy to even do it. I'm just going to go around with a sword and just kill it. It's whatever. Like, For he has instance, 81 arrows. Fusing... Whoa, whoa. We got materials to attach. Oh, you can attach from your inventory. You can attach. Can you attach the meat to an arrow? What would that do? A frond, a leek. He's got mushrooms. He's, He's got, I don't know what arrow. those things are on the right. What is this going to do? Fuse an ice elemental material to an arrow, and you can freeze far away enemies. Okay, I don't know what the leaf would have done, but but that's kind of cool. Very useful. V very useful. In addition, hmm, let's uh, as, you know that's going to be used in dungeons. There's like no way that's not going to be used in random dungeons. We're going to need that in order to freeze things. That's equivalent to the ice arrow, light arrow, fire arrow from Ocarina. Like it's it's totally going to be necessary. Uh, there's I bet. a bird flying around. Can we shoot the bird with an arrow? I always love in Zelda games. I found out in like real, I think it was in old Ocarina of Time games. If you were good enough with the, the N64 controller and the bow, you could just shoot the little birds out of the air and they would just explode. I thought it was that game. Maybe it was Mother game, hunting, but 
It was always so satisfying. Too difficult. That that's that's like that's bronze talk right there. You hear that? If you're out hunting, you might feel that aiming with an arrow is too difficult. Tell it to Hanzo mains and Overwatch. Yeah, let's let's <laughs> see how they feel about that. Apparently, my eyes can't track fast-moving objects as of late, so my shots rarely land. <laughs> like they even <laughs> sorry to critique this. Did he even try? Like, look at this. Moving objects as of late, so my shots rarely land. Like, I feel like he missed on purpose. I feel so like he, he was missing on purpose for the gameplay demo. <laughs> Here's an eyeball you can get by defeating monsters. Okay, an, Fuse it to an, arrow an eyeball with an arrow is gonna make a fast arrow. Oh look, my god. Okay, that's fun. That's actually really fun. That's super cool. Let's try this on another bird. He's gonna be out of fire in that general direction. Oh, it's very simple. Oh wow. Depending on what you stick together, the fuse ability could also be beneficial for hunting. That's that's really cool. That was really. Good. Wait, I, I wanted to know. Wait a minute. Did he show what? Did, what did the bird even drop? Well, there it was. I don't know what it was supposed to be. It was like a, a corpse. To my shield. Now you're probably wondering if this has any use. Well, this mushroom is actually a puff shroom. <laughs> when you Let's get hit, it's release. gonna release poison, right? When you hit, it's gonna release poison. I yeah. With the shield. Oh, smoke screen. Okay, there's smoke now. The enemy's That's sight of Link, okay. So this actually is super cool. This actually is Even super cool. Combat, That's gonna be super fun. Using similar methods. In the previous game, the reason this is important isn't just because it's fun, because it is kind of fun. But the real reason that it's important is it lowers the bar of entry for a video game. Because one issue that games have is if they're too difficult, uh, then it depends. Like, there, there's, it's complicated. It's like Elden Ring was too difficult, but it still had everybody played anyway. But generally in a lot of games, if it's too difficult, then there's this whole demographic of people who are just not very good at video games, but they really like video games. And those people struggle and then eventually quit because it's just like they it's just too annoying how difficult it all is how difficult is all the time so when you add like tools for them to use so that they can even when they encounter something that's very difficult instead they can just go gather materials and then come back and be temporarily really strong using some kind of tricks and things that helps this look this other group of gamers to be able to enjoy the game where the other people would just not even worry about it, but those people, it's like, it's really necessary. But then for the other people too, you can still just have fun. It's still fun to be able to do these things. So it is, it's, it's so smart. Very, very smart that they have you this in the game. Great thing. Weapons by defeating strong enemies. But in this game, fusing even the weakest weapon with something else <laughs> turn it into a useful weapon. Looks so funny. There are even more gameplay options for sticking things together. Let me demonstrate. Some of the Sky Islands even have rivers. Yeah, I saw that in the backdrop. This one, but swimming across it, well, the river's too wide for that. We need a boat. Of course, we're gonna make a boat. Anything that resembles a boat around here. We're gonna make a raft. So, I see it. We're we'll making a raft. This log and attach it to a second log. Yeah, we're making a raft. Let's do one more. We'll bring this over here and attach a third log. It's a makeshift raft. Where did the jelly come from? There's magic this jelly. Is another new ability called Ultra Hand. Even though the logs are currently attached, Ultra Hand they can be detached. Let's modify the shape of the raft. Okay, this is super fun. Or detach them like this. That is super cool. You know, people are going to be trying to just like build random stuff, like building a house using this. I don't know if you even can, but I, I know people are going to try, and it's going to be so much fun. Now, if we put this on the water, it's made of wood, so the buoyancy will keep it afloat. We've made a simplified version of a boat. Well, how are you going to move it? However, it won't move in its yeah. current state, so we'll need something to propel it forward. Oh, that thing, I, we already saw it. it. There was a sail on the ground over there. Hmm. There's something here. Let's try hitting it. Oh, or this. Or just some magical jet Blow thing. Looks like we found a fan. Why don't we try attaching it? It's ba has a ba Oh, the battery recharges. Okay, so it has a battery. The battery recharges. I'm pretty sure we saw a literal sail on, on a thing. Oh, this is so... 
This is so dorky. It's so okay, dorky, but I love it. It's honestly so good. All right, let's try moving the boat. <laughs> hey, it's moving. Uh, it's sailing So wait, fast. does this mean? Does this mean if you? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I wonder if there's gonna be a place in the game where you can do. You just have like one stick and another stick, and on the end of one stick you have a fan pointing at a side, and you turn it on, or it's one stick and you just put the fan on the side. I don't know if it'll let you put this fan sideways. It might always stick to the front. Well, you could. You could have two like this, and you have the one sticking to the front, and then you could turn it on, and the thing's just going to rotate in, like, a circle for, like, super speed. That would be really funny to do. Well, there's a point where it's, like, it makes a whirlpool when you do it, and you need, like, a whirlpool to open up a dungeon. I doubt it, but that'd be really fun. We should be able to cross the river in no time. All right. We reached the other side. All right, so I can I can't read this. In the most recent trailer, we what the? Look at this thing! I didn't even see that in the most recent. I didn't watch the most recent trailer. Dude, that's that's awesome that you make a car. Oh, that is so smart. Because one of the biggest things that people love in open world games is crafting, building, crafting, building stuff. So if they have stuff like this, that's going to increase the playability of the game and the appeal of the game to a wider audience by a lot. It's going to significant like. Sons of the Forest without building would have been awful. It would have been a terrible game. But because of building, people got so many more hours out of it than they would otherwise, just because building was so much fun to do. We showed scenes of Link riding a large car and a flying machine. Those vehicles actually aren't in the game from the start. Instead, you'll be able to free yeah, there's the a thing. on your own. There are all sorts of objects you'll come across in this game. Oh, this is this is so cool. You can do oh my them. god, this is literally so gonna make crafting different things. This is going to make the game next gen Breath of the Wild. Without this, it would just be oh it's Breath of the Wild again and it's fun and all. But this actually like takes it to a whole new level. This, this actually will be sure. so insanely fun. There That's gonna be so fun. Abilities. Take this building over here. Okay, watch this. What the hell? Look. I passed right through the ceiling. This new ability is called Ascend. If you're in a place with a ceiling, you can go through to the... The way he's out is if you're in a place with a ceiling, Pama, you can go through, or only in place where there's a ceiling you can go through. Those above you. Very confusing. I assume that there's there a certain place. There are some places. but what's great about this ability is that as long as there's a ceiling, you can use it anywhere. Oh, okay. No, it was the, it was the second For example, or whatever I said. This place has a cave with a hill right above it. Oh, no way. It's going to let you go if that you far. Use the ability here. What? Oh, no way. Come on. Keep oh, going. my God. Okay. We emerged at the top of the hill. That's really interesting. I I wonder how that's going to come into play. Like, I, aren't there going to be like just enormous mountains somewhere? What if you like? I, I bet there's going to be somewhere in the game. There's going to be somewhere in the game where there's going to be like a cave into like the biggest mountain ever, and you just ascend and now you're just at the top. That'd be. I don't know. I don't know how I in feel the about that one. Game, you had to use stamina to climb a mountain, but in this game, if there's a mountain with a cave like this one, you can now get to the top without having to climb all the. I don't know if that's good or bad. On one hand, yes, it's convenient. It's very convenient. It definitely would get annoying eventually, always having to climb when exploring. But it also can be bad because it takes away that element of exploration. Like, I know, I have a brother, for example, that whenever he plays games, he doesn't even do the game. He just runs around and explores. That's literally all he does. Like, in this game, he wouldn't even go into a single dungeon. He would just go climb and glide and go fly around and look at things. That's all he would do. And for people like that... It might make it less fun. Like, I don't know. All the way up. Maybe not, Here's though. People example. like him also like Imagine cheating, so I don't know. If it's got a ceiling, you know what to do, right? Exactly. Oh, there's another construct. Oh, my God. Look at that guy's sword. Oh. He also has a weapon. With fused weapons, so yeah, but he also has a fuse. A bit differently from the previous game. <laughs> he literally, Zelda, our Link is literally a fly. He's literally had to fly swat us. Ah, it blew me away with wind. Looks like it's got some sort of fan. Ah, I got pushed off. Uh, that was oh, definitely well, intentional, but it was good. Surface. 
All right, what are we doing here? I got to see this. You can We're quickly descend from Dude, I just he is so high in the air. Look how high up he is. This is crazy. From the sky to the surface like this. It feels so good. In the sky, you'll be able to look out across the land. You can also search for destinations that pique your interest. Okay, well, I want to back up. Look how big this place is. Just look how big it is. I wonder if, search for I hope that's not the whole map though cuz that's still like that's big what he just showed but that's not that like ridiculously big. Once you've chosen your destination, you can speed things up like this. Let's dive into this river. How would you choose your destination? There's not very much uh, movement you could do while falling. And we're back on the surface. There's, There's a bird carrying so an enemy. I'd like to show you, but let's leave it at that for now. Wait, I want to see what was that in the background. There's still so many things I'd like to show you. you look at the right side of this. That, for now. that mountain. You know that mountain's going to be like the first thing that so many people go to just because you can see it so obviously. What did you think? Some of Link's new abilities were updated from the previous game. I'm sure some of you watching me play were thinking, wait, if you could do that, then maybe you could do this too. In this game, My God. you can do a lot of things just by thinking about what's even possible. That is really There's fun, though. A lot of new gameplay, mysteries, and encounters we couldn't show today, but they're all jam-packed into this unfamiliar Hyrule, and we hope you'll use your imagination to explore it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Okay. Well, that was the... Um, oh, is there more to it? Wait, what else happens here? Is it just the logo and the outro thing? Yeah, it is. Oh, they show a little bit of footage right here. I don't know. That's probably from other stuff. Oh, they're talking. Oh, they're just they're just like low key advertising the like special Nintendo Switch you can buy. Can you imagine being one of the people you buy a Nintendo Switch even though you already have one just so you can have the Zelda one. Anyway, um, so that was the new gameplay trailer basically that just came out like two hours ago when I started recording this. Uh, so. I don't know. I think I think it looks like it'll be pretty fun. I hope the map is bigger than what I saw there when he panned around. Though that it's still pretty big. Like it'll still be fun even if that was the whole map, which it looked like it might have been. Uh, I mean, there was some behind him that like he made like a I don't know. Like he showed like of a circle. He showed like 270 degrees of a circle, but he didn't pan like to a certain angle. So, but either way, uh, I hope there's a little bit more than that. I want it to be even bigger than that. But it looks fun. Uh, the new thing is going to make it way more fun. Having the ability to build things is just going to make the game for an open world game it's like critical to make an open world game fun and replayable i think people are going to have a crazy amount of fun playing this game just off of that system alone and since breath of the wild one was already fun as it was just having these additional features that definitely will be fun in an open world game that's definitely going to make it even more fun so i i think this is a big w for nintendo I think this is going to be a good time. Um, I don't know. I like this a lot. I'm definitely going to be playing this when it comes out. I have a Switch. I'm definitely making videos about that game when it comes out. I look forward to it. All right, so that was it. That was um, the gameplay demonstration. I'll, I'll link this in the description of this video. But, yeah, so that's what was in that. That was uh, my reaction to it.